So this is part two of B2 and we're doing, dealing with electrical resistance and electrical circuits and that's why I've got this part of the data booklet available. Uh, firstly we're looking at define resistance and state A Ohm's law. So resistance as we can see from our formula over here this is basically Ohm's law. Um, resistance is the ratio of your potential difference um, of a when across a some sort of device to the current so it's a ratio of the it's a ratio of the potential difference V to the current I um, for a device uh, that could be a resistor some sort of load some sort of device um, Ohm's law states that for a constant temperature, for a constant temperature, temperature, um, the ratio of the ratio of the V over I is a constant for a specific device. Okay. Now, in the next question, it says here a resistor made from a metal oxide has a resistance of 1.5 ohms. The resistor is in the form of a cylinder of 2.2 times 10 um, to the negative 2 meters and a radius of 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Calculate the resistivity of the metal oxide. So which formula am I going to use here? Well, I'm going to use that one over here. This symbol over here is the resistivity. This is the length of the resistor. This is the cross-sectional area, and this is the resistance. So I'm going to use that formula there, rho L over A. Now I'm actually wanting to calculate, um, I'm wanting to calculate the rho here, the resistivity. So obviously it's going to be rho is equal to um, the resistance times the cross-sectional area divided by L. Now, <clears throat> I've just got to be a little bit careful here because here we're talking about a cylinder and I'm given the radius. So that's obviously going to be, you need to know that 1.5, that's your resistance times, your, you've got a, a cross-sectional area there with your radius, so that's going to be pi r squared is going to be your cross-sectional area, so it's going to be pi times um, 1.2 times 10 sorry I'm running out of space here 10 to the negative 3 you're gonna to have to square it and then you're gonna to have to divide that all by 2.2 times 10 to the negative 2 and uh, when you do that all uh, and hopefully there's no problem there you're going to get 3.1 times 10 to the negative 4 and it's an ohms per meter ohms per meter value actually not an ohms per meter it's a uh, it's an ohm meter value because uh, you get a area here you're getting an area divided by an L so you're getting a meter squared divided by a meter so it's an ohm per meter then it says here the manufacturer of a resistor guarantees its resistance to be plus minus 10% of 1.5 ohms provided the power dissipation of the resistor does not exceed 1 watt. Calculate the maximum current for in the resistor for the power dissipation to be equal to 1 watt. So what would be the maximum current possible? So here we need to look at um, these formulas. Perhaps let's just clean things up a bit here. We're going to be using these formulas over here where I get for power, I get a whole variety of different formulas. But here I'm looking at the relationship between I and R and power. So I'm going to use that formula over here that power is equal to I squared R. And I'm wanting to know what my current is. So I is going to equal the square root, obviously, of power over R. Now, I'm wanting my maximum current. Uh, when I have one watt. So when am I going to get my maximum current is when my resistance is going to be at its lowest because obviously dividing by the lower value. So it's going to be the square root of 1 over 
Now, when is your resistance? It, it varies of 10%. So I'm looking at 1.5 times 0 0.9. That will give me 90% of that. And I think that is equal to 1.35 ohms. Like okay, that, if I've got it right. Um, and so it's going to be 1 over 1.35. And uh, that gives a value of 0 0.86 amps. Notice here all my answers are to two significant figures. I see here that everything is given in two significant figures. So all my answers must be in two significant figures. Fine. Going over to the next side over here. I get, again, the resistance of each of the resistors in the circuit below is measured at 1.5 ohms with an accuracy of plus minus 10%. Define the EMF. Now the EMF, um, when it says over here the cell has an EMF of 2 volts, um, that is the maximum um, energy uh, per coulomb per C uh, that... Uh, a cell can deliver. It's the maximum of energy uh, that a cell can deliver uh, to the by the source. Okay, now when it says negligible internal resistance, it means that none of the energy is lost over. So all the energy, two volts here, why it's, it's got an EMF of 2 volts, all that energy, 2 joules per coulomb, is going to be delivered to the circuit here. So it says determine the maximum and the, uh, the minimum and the maximum power that could be dissipated in the circuit. So again we're looking here at our power formulas, but here we've got our power, but here we've got our voltage, which is 2, and our R, which is going to change. Now We've got firstly, um, we've got, if I think of this, I'm going to have two different situations. Firstly, just have a look at it. So our power um, is equal to V squared over R. We're going to get maximum when obviously our R is a, a minimum because we're dividing by that. And we're going to get our minimum power when our R when our total R is a maximum. Now each of these vary at 10%. Uh, so our maximum, um, well let's start with our minimum. Our minimum uh, R for each one is 1 1.35 ohms. 5 ohms, 1.35 ohms. Um, that's 0 0.9 times 1.5. So, to do this, to work out the total resistance of this whole circuit, uh, we're going to use these formulas over here. Firstly, I'm going to use this formula here to work out the resistance here. So, um, for the parallel, I'm going to get 1 over R parallel. 1 over the R total is 1 over 1.35 plus 1 over 1.35 and therefore we calculate that um, and um, then I'm going to add that to this one over here. Let me just uh, get my calculator out here and um, we can calculate that. Um, so you get uh, 1 Point three five. You're going to find the inverse of that. Uh, because there's two of them, I can just double it. So it's going to be times two, and then that gives me one over R P gives me uh, one point four eight. If you just check on your calculator, you can do that. And then you've got to find the inverse of that to find R P. So we do the inverse of that answer, and we get zero point six seven five ohms. So this is equal to 0 0.675 ohms. That's that's the equivalent resistance of these two. And now I've got to add that to that to get to the total. And now they are in series. These two are in series. So I use this formula. I just add the two together. So I add plus uh, 1.35 to that. 
and I get an R total of 2.025 ohms and therefore my power max is going to equal V squared my V is equal to 2 so it's going to be 4 divided by 2.025 and I get about 2 watts 2 points when I divide 4 divided by my answer I get 0. Point, um, I get 1.9 Seven five, and when I do it to two significant figures, I get two point zero, um, two point zero watts. Okay, so that was for that was for my uh, minimum. Now let's do the maximum, and uh, I hope you can remember. Well, let me see if I can erase this nicely. No, I've got to rub it all out. I'll do this all again. You can see it once more because it's quite a good question now I've got my two volts but now I'm looking for my R max now I've got 10% of that so I do I multiply this by 1.1 so when I have 1.1 times by 1.5 I get 1.65 so each one of these is now 1.65 ohms 1.65 ohms 1.65 ohms the total RT of that uh, I want to calculate so firstly I find the I uh, firstly I find the um, the um, total resistance of the parallel section using this formula over here so it's going to be 1 over R for the parallel section 1 over 1.65 I calculate that so I'm going to get um, inverse of my answer um, oh, sorry 1.65 inverse so I times that by 2 because there's two of them and then I find for RP I find the inverse of that so I find the inverse of that and I get 0 0.825 just check and see if you can get that that's important so therefore your total resistance this is replaced this can be replaced by one resistor of 0 0.825 ohms that will give you the same resistance as that so now it's going to be 1.65 plus 0 0.825 that will give you the total resistance now, the maximum. So I add plus 1.65 to that, and I get 2.475 ohms. So I put that into here 4 divided by 2.475, 4 divided by my answer, and I get 1. 1.61 six one so forth so I get one point six watts is my final answer for that. So that's my this over here would be my maximum and that would be my minimum value.